Many suffering with back pain think they need exercises to help build a stronger back and core. The truth is that many of these exercises do more harm than good and are the last thing most should be doing to permanently fix their back injury. If simply strength were the cure, how come you and I see the strongest athletes in the world for their back pain? For example, common exercises like side bends, Jefferson curls, and sit-ups move the spine under load. And while these will build strength of your back muscles and core muscles, the combination of load and spinal movement increases the risk of injury as it softens the collagen of the annulus of your disc. So instead of focusing on exercises that move your spine under load to build strength, focus on exercises that help build neuromuscular endurance and control of your spine under load so you can better move about your hips. Today, I'm gonna to give you three alternatives to these exercises that can help get you out of back pain and build that neuromuscular endurance and control. Okay, your first exercise that can help a lot of people with back pain is learning the single leg RDL. Now this is an excellent exercise because it teaches you to move about your hips and maintain that neutral spinal posture. So you're building that neuromuscular endurance and control for the neutral spine, which can help a lot of people. Now, a couple cues to make sure you're doing this correctly. First is we're gonna think a little bit of a ribs down. So you're gonna get a little bit of a contraction in your abs right here, stiffen up. We're going to also kick your free leg back. So I want you to squeeze your glute just a little bit. And then as you're going down, we're moving entirely about the hips and back up, pulling the hip through. Now I'm gonna have Ed do just a few reps of this. What he's using right here is the U-Bell. This is a brand new piece of equipment from Abmat. Think about it like a camber dumbbell, but it's gonna bring a lot more instability into the picture, especially if you're doing any carrying or pressing exercises. So something like this, I want you to do two to three sets of eight to 10 reps. Brace the core, kick the heel back to feel the glute, slowly over, weight is in the opposite hand of your stance leg, and back up. If done correctly, you'll feel your glutes and hamstrings working and you won't feel your low back. Instead of doing crunches to build your anterior core strength, what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna do a stir the pot. What I'm gonna have you do is come over, you're gonna go to quadruped. All right, you're gonna put your elbows on the ball. You're gonna interlace your hands, okay? You're gonna work on pulling your lats and your pecs down. You're gonna stiffen out laterally. And what I want you to do to start is plank on the ball. So you're gonna get up on your toes and hold neutral spine, very good. Push the earth away, get taller, good. And to take this and up the ante a little bit, we're gonna make small little circles we're gonna steer with the elbows. So small little circles, beautiful. And then we can go north and south if we want to, north and south. And remember, you keep the tension, keep the stiffness. Now go to your knees, drop down to your knees. And that's the way you dismount from a stir the pot, especially if you're dealing with back pain. And last, let's work those small QL muscles on either side of your spine. But rather than trying to strengthen them through ranges of motion, let's work on building your neuromuscular control and endurance. A suitcase carry is excellent for that. Here's how it's performed. He's going to lock down his spine by stiffening his core slightly. I want him to have a bent elbow, make a fist that will help radiate a little bit more stiffness through his body. He's going to make sure that he's got a little bit of stiffness as he starts walking. Now, every step that he takes is going to work those QL muscles to make sure that his pelvis stays level. Something like this, I wanna have actually a brisk walk. I don't want you to walk too slow, so a little bit faster. Something like this to start off, you can do about 30 to 45 seconds and then switch hands. Breathing wise, small sips of air in and out. We're not relaxed. We're treating this like a difficult exercise for your core. So keeping your core braced, and you're gonna feel the muscles working, particularly the ones on the opposite part of your spine. Fixing back pain is no simple feat, and you need a plan that's right for your body. For more on how to fix back pain, check out my injury fix book, Rebuilding Milo on amazon.com. Chapter one is all about back pain, and it'll have a simple test that you can perform and walk through to analyze what your body needs and exercises to follow to get you out of pain and back to doing everything you wanna do in life.